What is up guys, Alec Weta, back at it again with another video. In today's video, like I said in my last one, we are going to be cleaning my cleats, specifically these Under Armour Yard Lows that I have right here. Let me show them real quick, let me get them out. So the Under Armour Yard Lows, which are right here, they're very dirty as you can tell on this part of the cloth and yeah all over the shoes they are currently wet because after our practice it was raining and i had them outside my bag and i was just running around with this trying to get back to my dorm so they're actually kind of soaked right now but we are going to be showing you guys how to clean your cleats and the ones that we're using are right here and we're going to show you the outcome of these because it's going to be great guys so guys let's get a before action of these these actually stink right now because i've been using them i haven't washed them since the beginning of the year but yeah guys, so this is how they look. They're dirty, but not that dirty. But I mean, I consider this very dirty because look at that right there. That's like the worst part of the shoe to get dirty. And yeah, to me they stink a lot. There goes the bottom. We're going to be cleaning the whole cleat, guys, because why not? That's one of them. So this is the before. And yeah, guys, it would have been better if I had them dry because you could see like the color, how faded it was. But yeah, since they're not as faded anymore because they got wet, this is them for right now. We're going to be cleaning these and they're going to be spotless by the end of this video. Alright guys, so we are in the bathroom right now and we're going to start off with the items that you need for this. What we're going to start off with is the brush for whenever you want to take off the excessive dirt at the beginning. You're going to want laundry detergent. The laundry detergent I use is right here. Uh, your cleats obviously, which are right there. We're going to need a rag, so let's go get a rag real quick. Got a rag right here. And then water. So water, I'm just using it out of the sink. And yeah, pretty much it. Now the first step that we're gonna start off with is just using the brush right here. We're gonna wipe the shoe down to get all the excess of dirt and yeah, here we go. All right guys, so now that we are done brushing off the cleats with this brush right here, getting all that excess of dirt, we're gonna move on to step two, which is watering down the cleats with the rag. And like as we're doing that, we're gonna be wiping off the shoe to get all that little dirt off what we can. And yeah, and then we can go on to the step three. All right guys, so what I'm doing right here is pretty much just gonna be putting the rag under the water and wipe, start wiping off the shoe. Guys, so step two is done where we use the rag and water and scrub it down to try to get all that dirt where we can. And as you can tell, it looks pretty great. The only part that was pretty hard was this material at the top by the ankle. That's just because it's a different material. And yeah, guys, the cleat is pretty much done. I took out the shoelaces just because it was easier to clean the inside of the tongue. And same with this one, the cleat looks very great. And yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments, is it very clean so far? Let me know. Now we move on to step three with the laundry detergent. So I'm going to get this, use a different rag because the other one was dirty with dirt. And I'm just going to pour some laundry detergent on the rag with water and start scrubbing all over the shoe, especially this ankle part right here. If you have this cleat right here with white uh, or any type of white material, I would especially use this laundry detergent and start scrubbing real hard on that area. And yeah, I'll get most of the dirt off and yeah, let's just move on to it. All right, so what I'm doing right here is just get it under the water and then pour some laundry detergent.
Alright guys, so the cleats are fully done being scrubbed with laundry detergent. I got out what I could with the laundry detergent and as you can tell, the difference between what it was before and after, like it was literally black and brown guys on this part. Now it's just like a light brown, if anything white. It looks very good on this shoe. The shoe looks already clean. All I pretty much have to do is dry them out. But I'm going to do one more step for step four. And that is putting them in the washer, guys. So I'm going to put them in the washer just because I want it to have like a little extra clean on them. And this is just with my hands, guys, manually doing it. So this is just if you want to do it with your hands or manually do it. This is one way. There's only three steps to do it. And you just let them air dry after this. You can do the same. I already washed the laces by just like scrubbing like this. And then that's pretty much it, guys. So this is it for if you want to do it manually. But if you want to clean them even more, this is what you're going to want to do. So for step four, I'm going to put them in the washer and just let them be in the washer by themselves. So I'm going to just put the cleats. They do not mess up the washer. Really don't want to mess up your washer or if you don't want to have scratches, then I would put them in like a bag or something, like something that can be washed with it, like a pillowcase or something like that. But yeah, I'm going to be put them in the washer and then the washer is going to do its thing. Just same with my hats. If you haven't watched the last video, make sure to watch it. I just put them in there alone and yeah, it's just going to be these in there and my shoelaces and that's about it. We're going to see the outcome of that. And then once we're done, step five is just letting them air dry, guys. This is what it is so far and it looks very great. Yeah, so we waited for 30 minutes to get those cleats washed and yeah, finally they are out and let me just say they look freaking awesome. So these are them finally freaking washed and wow, the before and after is just insane guys. You can tell like the freaking ankles guys, the difference, it's still a little bit dirty. So I may have to wash them again but right now this is very well, I'm okay with it and wow. This is the final product guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like this. Comment down below, do you like the final outcome? Let me know if you have any other ways on how to clean cleats. This is the way I do it. I like to clean it manually and then put them in the washer after. So yeah guys, so I can get the most out of it. And dang, look at those cleats baby. The best part about this is the outcome of the ankles. As you saw before, they're like a blackish brownish, dark brownish. And now they're like pretty much white, almost white, and a little bit of brown, but that's about it. And guys, that is the best part. And wow, the cleats look freaking new again. I'm so glad I washed them because I needed to wash them. They stunk very badly, and I finally washed them to this point just because I have a four-day break from practice, and I have a fall break, so I'm going to be cleaning all my gear. So now I'm going to just let them air dry. This is going to be the actual color of them besides this part right here since that's the only part that pretty much got wet it feels pretty dry already but yeah that's gonna be a little bit lighter it's gonna be like this color and yeah this is the final product guys the shoestrings are getting dried right now and yeah that's pretty much it guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to slap a like comment down below what you think any ideas of any other ways of how to clean the cleats this is my way I love it a lot and yeah, I enjoy washing my cleats like this or any other shoes, really. You can use this trick on any other shoes, and that's pretty much how I do it, guys. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay up to date with the content. We have baseball gear reviews, baseball gear cleaning, pretty much a lot of baseball going on. We have me playing baseball. We're going to be making a lot of content, guys, so stay tuned. Here we have it, guys, a how to clean your cleats or any other types of shoes they have, your trainers or regular shoes. This is one way to do it. But I specifically wanted to show you guys how to clean your cleats because it's hard to clean cleats. You're going to have cleats that are very, very dirty. And yeah, it's baseball, guys. They're supposed to get dirty. But if you want to keep your gear in shape and clean, this is one way to clean your cleats. We also have my hat cleaning video that you guys need to watch. If you haven't watched that video, make sure to go watch that video. It's the last video. And yeah, go watch that. Slap a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe again. And we are on the road to 10,000, guys. We're almost there. We're at 9,180, guys. So stay up to date. Stay tuned, guys. We're almost there, and I can't wait. I'm so excited. And yeah, guys, I'll just see you guys in the next video. Peace.